Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here today. And today I have two absolutely gorgeous chronographs by Stratton. They're the Legira models, the Legira standard. I also have two bullheads that came in and I'm going to do another video for them. I'm a big bullhead fan. They are absolutely gorgeous. And first of all, I'd like to say before we get into the watches, thanks to Bob from Time to Go Travel and Time Pieces for sending these beautiful Strattons out. Uh, to share with you. Please check out his channel. They are going on tour. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel below. Subscribe to him and check out and subscribe to Peter Von Panda and Aaron Dunlop in California with Chris Marshall and Marshall Time out there. Please check them guys out and subscribe. They're all great, great channels. Okay, so let's get back to these um, Logira Stratton Standard Chronographs. First of all, I'd like to say they're absolutely gorgeous, and the color combos are great. I mean, I love this black, blue, and orange. And by the way, this one here is the automatic movement. Uh, this is running the Valjou 7753, and uh, they're pretty much the same, pretty much the same specs, um, except the movement and the sub-dials. Uh, this guy here is running the Seiko VK67 Mecha Quartz, which I'm a big fan of. They're both excellent movements, and um, I've had some Mecha Quartz in, uh, some other uh, brands in here, and I just love how that handles. So you can pick these up with either of those movements in, which is really cool. I'm just going to go back to the... the uh, the blue and orange and uh, black one because I just think it's so cool. I also think this brown sunburst dial on here, if I can get this camera focused, is absolutely gorgeous. So while I have the brown chronograph up here, let me just tell you the difference in the sub dials. The brown um, Mecha Quartz movement has the sub dials. 24 hour subdial at the three o'clock position. The minute counter is at the nine o'clock position and this running seconds is at the six o'clock position. So that's a little different from the blue guy here, which has the 30 minute counter at the three o'clock position, the hour subdial at the six o'clock position and running seconds at nine o'clock if you can see that, I'm so sorry for the focusing. But those are the only real differences than that other than, and the specs are all the same except for the colors and movement. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Again, I love this color combo. Squared off lugs, polished beveled edges with the coin bezel. This bezel <clears throat> is really, really nice. It's a domed sapphire. 120 click bezel with 12 hour marker on on the edge very good action on the bezel the hands on this guy are beautiful beveled hands with excellent loom and both of these are uh, sporting the BGW9 loom, which is really well done. Very nice. I'll throw a shot up for you there. Both the dials on these are absolutely gorgeous, and the applied stainless steel five-minute markers are really, really well done. Let me get this guy up here to show you those. They just kind of have like a, a two-tone finish. Depends how you move them in the light. You get a dark look and a shiny look. I absolutely love that. Hey, let's get some specs on these guys. And I'm going to go back to the blue one again. This does have a 316L stainless steel case. 44 millimeter case width. 50 millimeters lug to lug. 16 millimeter thickness. With a double dome sapphire crystal, which adds to that. 100 meter water resistance and a 22 millimeter bandwidth which getting into that i want to just hit this case a little bit this does have a nice knurling crown <coughs> screw down crown in fact with very good action pushers the start 
above the crown and stop and the bottom button is reset which is absolutely great action uh it does have the s for stratton at the end of the crown and the stratton logo on the back center screw down case back as well as this one they are both identical these guys just add a wonderful strap to their watch i think you know uh it's high quality great stitching stratton on the end of the buckle uh very high quality polished stainless steel buckle and very flexible leather feels great on the wrist um, i love these straps they sent out with them you can also opt out for a, a bracelet for forty dollars i think is the cost of that and i think you can pick the automatic one up here for about 330 us dollars so that is not bad by the way i failed to mention these are kickstarts and i'm going to leave a link to the kickstart uh site below in the description please check them out you can get early bird special and i'll leave the link to stratton's web page below also hey let's get a wrist shot on here for you guys on my seven inch wrist okay guys there you have the brown quartz model absolutely beautiful that sunburst dial just looks great beautiful chapter ring absolutely beautiful now let's check out the blue one okay guys there you have it the blue orange and black it just pops and just does it for me absolutely gorgeous watches stratton a very good job here on the color combos the look the design i love it be sure to check them out hope you guys are having a great day and stay well